Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, once in a while, once in a while, people will ask me to do a video showing uh, all my characters. I've made one such video in the past. At least I've made a couple of videos in the past where I was showing my characters. Uh, so I guess we were long overdue because uh, Red uh, t Red Titan on YouTube asked uh, for for a follow up for such videos. So let's do that. Uh, I toyed with the idea also of making a much long. I had a much longer version of this video, and I uh, that was about an hour and a half. And I thought no one, no one's going to watch that. So I trimmed it uh, as much as I could to to the length we have right now. Uh, and also, there's a few characters uh, like you already saw Aqua Kid, uh, Atlantis King, and now we have the Atlantic Master. Uh, basically, some of there are some characters that you will see here for the first time. Uh, that I didn't get the chance to play just yet, or I didn't get the chance to make videos about those characters just yet. Uh, basically, uh, obviously for some of the few characters you just saw, uh, water powers just came out. So obviously I, I made a handful of water-based uh, characters. But I have a lot more than that uh, in stock. Here we just saw our friend uh, Green Arrow with his uh, brand new Green Arrow official Green Arrow gear, but also you have this version here that's using uh, the Green Arrow emblem. Ironically enough, if you use the Green Arrow gear, you cannot have the Green Arrow emblem. So if you want the Green Arrow emblem, you have to use some other gear. Here we have our friend Nightwing. Uh, which I'm working on uh, slowly but surely. Uh, basically, there are, there are characters that I will use. Uh, I basically have way too many characters, and there's way too many characters that I want to create. So sometimes I'll use characters like the Avenging Knight, and I'll make three or four characters out of that one character. So basically, with the Avenging Knight, I'm able to make a Green Arrow, Nightwing, and our friend Robin, as you, as you're seeing. So it allows me to have a few less characters than I would have otherwise, and also a few less characters that uses gadgets. It's very easy to end up with uh, characters using gadgets. As soon as you create someone that has no superpower, very often the default mode will be uh, acrobatic and gadget. Like here we have our friend Batgirl Beyond. Guess what she's using? Acrobatic and gadget. Sure, I could make a Batgirl Beyond uh, that's flying and that has electric powers, but eh, it wouldn't. There would be a little point in making it uh, a bad girl character if I went uh, that far off. Although I have my multiverse character that I can sort of use like that, uh, but we'll we'll see that in a bit. And obviously, there's our friend Batman. I actually have a couple of Batman characters. Uh, basically, I have uh, one one on PC, one on PS4. And uh, and also I even have a Batman Beyond and a few other Batman themed uh, character. Uh, basically, when the the Bat Call was released, I went nuts and I created like half a dozen Bat like Batman type characters. So here obviously we're seeing a, a version inspired by the classic version from the 70s, in the good old days when the the, the cape and cowl were colored blue as opposed to uh, dark blue or black as it was. Uh, the case much later in the 90s or or early 2000s. Here I tried to recreate a bit, uh, sort of, uh, the Kingdom Come Batman and failed uh, quite miserably. So it's uh, like a cross between... Uh, it's more like an, an alternate version of future Batman, I suppose. Here we have the Justice Lord Batman. I have to admit, the look looks really sweet on that character. Uh, I didn't, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it to look that good. I don't. I, we're so used to seeing uh, actually the cowl black and the rest of the costume gray that seeing the opposite is kind of weird, but kind of works at the same time. Here we have more or less the Adam West uh, Batman, basically just using uh, the. The daring vigilante headpiece, as opposed to the official Batman call, and also using the high color uh, uh, chest piece allows me to color the, the the neck of the character blue, so that it kind of fakes. It gives it a fake call, even though he's not actually wearing a call. Here we have the uh, Flashpoint Batman, I guess. It could also kind of work for the no the Earth Two Batman is different than that. This is, yeah this is really the Flashpoint uh, Batman. Ideally, you should probably be using guns uh, if it really was the Flashpoint Batman. But nah, what can you do? At some point, I was using guns uh, with martial arts, basically as a with the weapon masteries. 
And here uh, we have what I would call the Batmobile uh, Batman. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, the, the the red lines on the pants kind of remind me of the the Batmobile and the, the headpiece. Also, there was an old version of the Batmobile that had such a head headpiece uh, uh, in the front of the Batmobile. That was like in the seventies, early eighties. And here, obviously, we have again a, a version using uh, some of the future Batman tech. And uh, obviously some of uh, the slimline, like the, the new Genesis pants. And here we have uh, a version of the Batman Beyond character that I made. I basically, uh, the thing I liked about that is that it allowed me to have uh, a flying version of Batman. Because uh, playing with acrobats uh, in certain maps is a bit tricky. So I thought using uh, Batman Beyond, who actually can fly, and making it a flying uh, character would kind of solve that issue. And it, it kind of does. And this right now is about as close to Batman Beyond as, as I could get. But soon we should get some new, some new styles that would allow us to get a bit closer. And obviously there's the Batman of the Sinistro Corps. Uh, although that never really happened in the comics, uh, it, the closest it did uh, come to happening was in the... What was it again? Ah, the name escapes me right now. It, it was a storyline with the, uh, the crime syndicate of America who tries to conquer uh, Earth-1. So they came from Earth-3 to Earth-1 and tried to, uh, to rule the world. And of course, Batman at some point used... Uh, a sinister core ring, but it was only for like one panel, and it was just a ruse so that it would summon Sinestro somehow. And again, our sort of Batman uh, using the the the, the tier two headpiece. The reason why I was able to get it uh, with a villain character is you see, basically, I got the headpiece from a Prometheum lockbox. And here we have our Blackest Night Batman, or Black Lantern Batman, depending on how you want to call it. I have to admit, I was uh, I was pretty happy uh, w with the the final result for the look. Uh, basically, when that uh, that uh, chest piece was uh, added to the game, I knew I had to make a Black Lantern character. I had no idea which character to actually use, and uh, somehow ended up using uh, Batman. I tried uh, quite a few variations uh, before I ended up uh, settling on Batman. And here we have the Black Lantern emblem that was added in the time capsules. So now that we have a few options if you want to create a Black Lantern, uh, not just a Black Lantern Batman, but uh, Black Lantern characters uh, uh, per se. Oh, I guess we're back to uh, our Sinistro Core Batman. I guess I misplaced uh, some of the uh, the files uh, as I was uh, putting the whole thing together. Uh, it happens. Oh well, my bad. I tried to put it more or less in alphabetical order, alphabetical order, but uh, obviously I, I failed uh, miserably. Here we have the robot head uh, Batman, which kind looks kind of neat. And here we have our cyborg Bizarro character. Uh, basically, I wanted to make a Bizarro character, but it couldn't really make a good version of, the, of Bizarro. So I ended up uh, doing uh, some sort of amalgam between uh, Bizarro and uh, Cyborg Superman. And then we ended up with uh, Cyborg Bizarro, basically. And here we have our friend Brainiac11. Uh, basically, I won I've been meaning to make a Brainiac character for a long time. But also I've been meaning to make a few uh, female characters so that I could show off uh, some female looking styles. So I made uh, I made Supergirl on the, the hero side on P on uh, PlayStation. Although on PC I already have a, a character on, uh, on the hero side. But uh, on the villain side I needed a character or two so I made Brainiac and I made another one which we'll see later. Here we have the amalgam of Superman and Captain America together. Uh, I probably should call it uh, Super Soldier, but I know the name isn't uh, available. 
So I guess I'll, I'll leave it as uh, Captain America because basically I have a few other armories which I'm uh, which you will see in uh, about a second. Oh yeah, the shield. Basically, the, the amalgam a character had a shield in the shape of super, uh, the Superman emblem. Not really possible. This is about as close as we could get, but it does the trick well enough. Here we have our friend Captain America, with as close to the classic costume as we can get. The flash call really kind of works to suggest the uh, the wings on the side of Captain America's head. So when they added the flash call, it, it was quite a happy accident. Uh, it gave us an, an, another way to create Captain America. And when they added the steel emblem, it created a way for us to have the somewhat e something even more looking like the Captain America shield than what we had before. So it was another happy accident uh, that happened. And I have to admit, the Bucky Captain America... Holy crap, does it look nice. Uh, the, Black costume in, in DC Universe Online uh, look really, really sweet. Uh, and in order to get the, the white eyes, uh, I just uh, had the uh, the the full slim slimline. Uh, is it slimline? Ah, the name escapes me. The the the, the full domino mask underneath uh, the the flash cowl. And here we have the composite Batman. Uh, basically, this is this should be the composite Batman Superman or Superman Batman, whatever the name is. Uh, who is half Batman, half Superman, and has all the the powers of the Legion of Superheroes. And I was able to get the cape and uh, Promethium time capsules, uh, Promethium Promethium lock boxes. Because it's a villain character, uh, that's the the only way you can get it, the Superman cape for a villain character is to get the cape from uh, Prometheum log boxes, but you have to be really, really lucky. So slow, basically, I have, as you saw, I have a lot of characters. So whenever I play with a character and I get a style, I try to give it to the character that's most appropriate. So if I get a Superman style, I'll try to keep it for a villain character that, that needs a Superman cape. And here we have our friend Daredevil. I'm probably the only guy alive who, who loves the yellow costume of Daredevil. Uh, that that's my favorite version of the character because of of uh, the nice contrast that we have between basically the black, the yellow, and the red. So I always thought it, it the look was pretty awesome, but I'm pretty much alone in my camp. Here we have the Daredevil. Uh, here I used the void material to be able to get something a bit closer to the Daredevil uh, look, because in the comics you always like a different texture on like the chest, the mask, and the legs. Always had a different texture than the gloves, the boot, the belt, and the boots. And also for the the emblem, I used the Deadman emblem when they released the Deadman emblem. Holy crap! It was perfect and also as you saw the sticks normally the sticks are silver but now with the void material I'm able to make the sticks red which I wasn't able to before and here we have the actual version of Dark Devil uh, basically the, the Marvel came up with a, a few series in what was what was known at the, at the time as the 2099 universe oh that was a weird uh, weird effect uh, sometimes it happens here we have the Darkest Night Batman. Uh, basically, there was this uh, graphic novel where Batman was the one who actually got the Green Lantern ring, and it gave us uh, an, a weird mixture of uh, Batman and Green Lantern. Of course, I had to make a version of the look with uh, the actual Batman head. And I used also the Batman gloves from the future Batman uh, from the time capsules. And again, we have our Batmobile look with the red uh, stripes on the pants, the Batwoman uh, t-shirt, and of course the tier 2 headpiece. For a long time, this was the best uh, Batman headpiece we had, but nowadays we have a few more options, uh, thankfully. And here, of course, another version with the Batman emblem. So now we have various uh, alternatives if we want to, to create our perfect uh, Green Lantern Batman. Uh, we can either use the Batman emblem, the Batwoman t-shirt, or the Green Lantern emblem. It's all good. And here we have our friend Galactus, which kind of went through uh, a bit of the transformation. 
And basically, again, I'm, I'm, I was tempted, I, I was going to create like a Galactus character, a Dark Side character, and a few other characters. And I thought, okay, let's make instead one character, Dark Multiverse, who will be able to be Galactus, Dark Side, and a handful of Celestials uh, all in one. So it, it allows me to try to minimize the amount of characters that I have. Because there's, there's already have way too many characters, and uh, I, it's, I always uh, create and delete uh, characters. Uh, it's something I've been always doing. Uh, although in the past I would create a character, play it until level 10, level 30, then delete it and create a new one. But at some point around the time of uh, Orange and Crisis, uh, I pretty much started not deleting characters as much. And then. Uh, my character roster exploded and I ended up with uh, a lot of characters. But ideally uh, with the Dark Multiverse uh, I'm hoping to be able to use a whole bunch of styles that I didn't use normally. Here it is our friend Dark Zoom. Uh, basically I've created him uh, and he's still on the Brainiac ship because I, I, I didn't get the chance to play him just yet. And I have a Black Flash Call and a Black Flash and a Flash Emblem waiting for him as soon as he gets off the Brainiac ship uh, the, the look will change uh, quite drastically. And here we have obviously our friend Dr. Doom. I had a hard time with Doom. Uh, basically I, I had a hard time trying to create multiple looks for the character. Like basically here uh, this we can tell that this is Dr. Doom and I added uh, a, a more uh, a more detailed ca a cape with a bit more detail as opposed to just the classic cape. And uh, the D emblem, if I could, that would be like straight on the belt buckle. But sadly, uh, that's on, there's only one place where we can get the emblem. And then I created a couple of alternate uh, armories using uh, styles more or less inspired by the 2099 uh, version of Doctor Doom. Uh, although in the 29 version, uh, like he had at some point a red cowl and uh, then at some point a, bla uh, um, uh, a blue uh, cowl and cape. And uh, Doctor Doom without the green uh, cowl and cape. Uh, the green the hood and cape it, it doesn't really work. Uh, I, I thought it looked uh, all kinds of uh, of weird, so I, I decided instead to keep uh, the, the the cape green through all the armories. Even though uh, technically the last two we saw were inspired by the 2099 uh, Doctor Doom. Here, of course, we have our friend the Flash, the fastest man alive, and uh, you can see him using the scuba chest piece and pants. It looks it works really well with that character. And even kind of mimics the, the texture that the car the costume has uh, in the TV show. And here there's the cosmic version that uh, I really enjoy this version. Uh, it was a bit, it was very difficult to, to reproduce because I needed to get the cosmic material for the, the most of the gear. And everything that's yellow, that's the phoenix material, which again required a lot of work. I had to play the broker for way too much, for way, way too long to be able to purchase those, those two materials. And of course, are somewhat inspired by Jay Garrick uh, version of, of the Flash. Uh, I, I've used that version of the character for quite a bit, and I, I guess I got the, I got attached to it, so I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I had to keep at least one armory using that look. And of course, I had to make a cosmic version, which I, I really, I really like. I, th I think it looks awesome. The co again, the cosmic material and the phoenix material works really great. I toyed with the idea of making a void version, like, like using the void material you can almost reproduce the Flash costume from the 90s, but uh, well. Here we have our friend the Spectre. Uh, it's one of those characters that I don't use all that often. Uh, basically I use it mostly at Halloween. Uh, so around the time when the Halloween season will start, I'll start using uh, the, 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 the good old Spectre a lot more. And I'll use it until uh, not too long after Halloween. And there is a variation I made again using some of the Halloween uh, styles that I got. Like you, the, I thought the bone uh, thingy was quite appropriate. Well, the, at some point in the in the comic, there was a version that kind of looked like that almost. I didn't get the the, the bones for the pants because the Spectre without his green short is not really the Spectre. Here we have our friend Alan Scott. Although, in a weird way, I ended up using uh, the Earth 2 Alan Scott emblem with this version of Alan Scott. But uh, if we ever get the, uh, the original Alan Scott emblem, I would probably use that instead. And here we have the Kingdom Come uh, version of Alan Scott. But 
I thought with the 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 original colors of Alan Scott, it looks I, I like the look, even though yeah, yeah there's a lot of color and it's it's a bit weird in the terms of of the coloring. I don't know. I was I, I really enjoyed that look. Of course, this is the uh, the green version of Alan Scott uh, from Kingdom Come. I tried the uh, the enhanced version and I thought it was a little too bright for my taste, so I, I stuck with the actual the regular version uh, for that character. And of course, a traditional uh, Green Lantern outfit. I had to make at least uh, one armory with uh, with that kind of look. The one liberty I took was with the uh, Green Lantern back piece, so that we have two two uh, two emblems on our friend uh, Green Lantern. And of course, one character that's pretty sweet and cool to reproduce in DC Universe Online is the Invincible Iron Man. By some stroke, uh, by some weird fate, I was able to to even reproduce the name. Although uh, originally I was trying to to call it the Invis Invincible Iron Knight, it wasn't too enough letters, so I had to to tweak it and tweak it. I ended up being able to call it the Invincible Iron Man uh, by by some happy accident. And here we have the stealth version of the, the, the costume. Basically the very same costume uh, as the first one, but with uh, shades of blue as opposed to the red and gold. And of course uh, the completely silver version that we kind of see in the movie. Uh, that's in the movie. I think this was a Mark II version. Uh, you can even see the Mark One in the corner that we'll, we'll see in just a minute. So this is the version that uh, Tony Stark made just before he then uh, decided to paint it uh, gold and uh, uh, red and gold. And this is as close to the original version of Iron Man as I was able to to reproduce. Basically, the Mark One version that uh, Tony built uh, in a cave as Obadiah Stane would say. So this is about as close as, always, uh, as I was able to get. Uh, if I gathered more style, I could probably come up with something that's a little bit closer to the uh, Iron Man uh, look. Uh, also, one thing that would help if, is if we could have different uh, body build for the same character, but uh, I guess uh, not really. And here we have our friend uh, Kid Flash. Uh, obviously, I don't have the Spectrum uh, Speed Force belt uh, just yet for that uh, that version. Uh, if you saw some of my Kid Flash character, uh, some of my Kid Flash videos, you know that at some point I will use that belt. Here we, here we have our friend uh, the Reverse Flash, which used to be Professor Zoom, but nowadays uh, with the TV show, the the Flash TV show, uh, it's pretty much uh, Professor Zoom for. Uh, it's pretty much Reverse Flash for for the the yellow version of the the the. the Professor the the Professor Zoom, and the the Zoom version is now the the black version, I guess. So now the Flash TV show pretty much made Professor Zoom, and Reverse Flash two distinct characters. Although I shouldn't say Professor Zoom; it's really it's literally Zoom and uh, and Reverse Flash, of course. I guess I should change the name uh, to something like uh, Reverse. Reverse flash or reverse something. Oh, we'll see. Maybe I should call it the man in the yellow suit. And of course, there's the black flash. Using the black flash, black flash mask, uh, that works uh, really well. And of course, the emblem, uh, white and red, on black. Holy crap! That the the, the whole mixture. The black looks really good in this universe online, as I said before. Here is our friend, the Phantom. Uh, pretty much my older oldest character that I have right now. When I started playing this universe online, I made I don't know half a dozen characters. And it took me it took me a while to to finally find one character that I would really enjoy playing, and this is this is the first character that uh, I settled on. Uh, orig originally, I'd made a, a white version of Batman, like a Batman from the Great White North, but I quickly deleted it. I I, I when I started playing, I didn't quite master how to use uh, 
martial arts, obviously. And one thing I, I didn't like was how he had those big uh, spike uh, weapons. And at the point, at the time, I was too uh, too new that I didn't realize that we could just uh, remove the weapons if we wanted to. And then I figured if I had to use a character that had weapons, which weapons would I like to use, and which character would I want to use? And though, and then I thought, okay, let's let's use the Phantom who uses uh, dual pistols, and that was pretty much my first main character, you could say. And for quite a while, this was my only character. And then at some point, slowly but surely, I started creating, uh, I started creating and deleting characters. And at first, I was deleting characters after a while. But then at some point, I started uh, accumulating characters. I still delete characters from time to time. Like you, you you'll notice, uh, my, I sadly I, I got rid of my, uh, of a few of my characters like Magneto and uh, Wolverine. But uh, I created a few more uh, in, in their stead. And actually, I didn't I didn't get rid of Magneto. Magneto became uh, the multiverse. But you you'll see him in a bit later. And uh, here I'm trying to come up with a, a Harley Quinn type uh, character. I didn't get to play her just yet, but uh, she's uh, she's in the pipeline. She's uh, sooner or later I'll, I'll start using that character. Basically, I wanted a character that was mentored by the Joker to 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 try the new uh, the new mentored the mission. And here is another character I have mentored by the Joker, but this one is a uh, combat rating 55. So basically, with my Harley Quinn character, I will try. I will play the game from the start with uh, the the new changes that have been made since Game of Day 73, 73. And here, my Manic Mag Jack is is a character I would play once in a while. But again, it's one of those characters that I play mostly around the time of Halloween, or when there's a few a few occasions, uh, I'll I'll also uh, use that character. And here's the Myth Hunter. I, I would have wanted to call it the Man Hunter or the Mask Hunter, and somehow none of those names uh, actually worked. Even if I, I tried, especially Mask Hunter, like there, there was no Mask Hunter, but somehow uh, Mask and Hunt create some kind of word that the, the name filter doesn't doesn't want to allow. So I I, I settled with uh, with that name. Here we have our friend the Night Sapphire. Uh, basically, for a long time, people would complain that uh, we could make a male ma ma a male Star Sapphire. Obviously, uh, now we can, thanks to and part to the emblem uh, that we got from the time capsules. But also, there were there was an alternative even before that. Uh, you will see that in a bit. And I kind of liked the, uh, the little sparkly aura. I thought it was more appropriate than a, a big aura. And here we have the, t the Star Sapphire t-shirt that for, for quite a while that's what I was using to reproduce, uh, to essentially create a male Star Sapphire. Although they, they made, they changed the, the glow of the emblem, so now we barely, we barely can see the emblem. Not sure why they changed it. Um, so, but nah, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't need the T-shirt anymore. So next time, I'll, I'll probably tweak the look and uh, come up with something else. For a long time, I've been meaning to play a Firestorm character. So I created. Uh, he's he's on, in on the Brainiac shape, waiting to be called. I just didn't get the chance to play it uh, just yet. And I'll, most likely, I will make uh, videos when I start uh, playing it. I don't remember which mentor I gave it. But basically, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to, to replay the game with each mentor using a new different character to see all the changes that have been made. And here we have our orange lantern uh, like Sluthor. I have to admit, I, uh, I wasn't sure if I was, I was going to keep him. I almost deleted him at some point. Uh, not sure. I'll have to give it some thought. Here we have our friend Orion Prime. Or Orion, of course. I tweaked the look a bit. Um, originally, I had pretty much reproduced uh, the look of, of Orion from the comics. But uh, after gaining a few uh, extra style, I, I tweaked uh, the look uh, just a little bit. Here, here I tweaked the look uh, a lot. Uh, this is basically the gear you get when you raise your... Uh, well, most of the gear you get when you raise your character to combat rating 100. 
Uh, he's one of the I had I was able to do that with uh, four characters if I'm not mistaken. So he's one of the four characters that I was able to raise to combat training 100 for free when we were given the option uh, not that long ago. Actually, it's some time ago now. Although the look, I kind of like the look, but I might uh, tone it down a bit. I'll I'll have to give it some thoughts. I like how you can get the emblem on the shield though. I wish we had more pieces of gear that actually supported emblems, but uh, what can you do? Here is our friend, uh, the Paladin. Uh, if you guys looked uh, at, at my various videos, you may have seen uh, the Paladin comic that I made uh, uh, quite some time ago now. Uh, but basically, the Paladin is a cre character I created uh, with my partner, Jim Shelley, uh, eons ago. So we, we created a, quite a few flashback universe comics, which is where at least a handful of the char characters I have come from. I haven't seen Jim in quite a while, though. I, I should probably uh, I should probably uh, take some news uh, and see what he's up to. And here's our friend, uh, the Red Hood, which I created not too long ago. And of course, our friend Superman. Although originally when I created him, I had more in mind the, the Red Sun Superman. You can see one of the armories in the back. Uh, it's pretty much as close to the Red Sun Superman look as I could get. Uh, ideally, obviously, I would need uh, a Red Sun Superman emblem. Uh, I'll actually, all really... All I would really need is a Red Sun Superman emblem. And with the styles we have in DC Universe Online, I'm pretty confident I could come up with something uh, really close to the uh, the actual Red Sun uh, costume. But uh, in the meantime, I, I I ended up making this pretty much a Superman character as opposed to a Red Sun Superman character. And of course, with the Star Wars Defender chest, we can have a nice big uh, Superman emblem. And I, I really I really like uh, that, that look. The, basically, this is pretty much all I have left in terms of look from my Red Sun Superman. And as you can see, I, I took quite a few liberties, but I thought the, the, the black of the chest of the Star Wars Defender with the, the red S on top of it, I thought it, it looked uh, really sweet. And of course, the Superman belt, or the, actually it's, uh, I think it's a belt that comes from steel, with the, again, the nice uh, S. And this is uh, almost uh, the, the Justice Lord Superman. Although instead of uh, black, the costume was like blue or dark blue. But um, I thought dark blue, it didn't look all that good. Uh, black, I thought it looked uh, much better. So I went, uh, I figured, if you gotta go, let's go all the way. And I went with uh, black instead of, uh, of dark blue. Here's our Red Lantern Superman. And I, I have to admit, I really like the look. And somehow it ended up looking uh, like the Earth 2 Superman. At some point, the Earth 2 Superman becomes evil or something, controlled by the evil dark side. And he almost has a look like that, which I ended up doing kind of by accident. But uh, again, I almost toy with the idea of uh, getting rid of our friend uh, Red Lantern Superman. I, I'm, I'm still on the fence about that. Here's our friend, uh, the Red Warhawk, or the uh, Red Lantern War, uh, Hawkman. Technically, Warhawk is the son of uh, Hawk Girl and uh, John Stewart, but nah, what can you do? And I thought the uh, the mixture of Hawkman and uh, Red Lantern actually worked really well. Here I went a little overboard, maybe, with the Shimtar gear. Um, I'll have to get some thoughts. Actually, I should probably use the Shimtar chest piece, but uh, I'll, this is one look I will probably uh, revisit before long. There's a few things that I need to, at the very least, tweak, if not, they really change. And another variation of the Red Lantern uh, gear. Uh, that's the tier 5 uh, Red Lantern gear you can get. I kind of like it, but um, I'll, I'll probably tweak it uh, in a bit. Uh, basically, I kind of I kind of prefer the the Red Lantern emblem we got from the Prometheum log boxes, so I'll, I'll probably uh, create a new look based on that. Uh, we'll see. 
And there's our friend Sand Walker. He's another flashback universe character that uh, I, I recreated in this universe online. I wasn't able to get exactly exact, <coughs> but I was. This is about as close to, uh, as I could get. It doesn't look like the Sand Walker character I created with Jim, but uh, it, I thought it looked uh, still kind of kind of nice. It's close enough, I suppose. And there's our friend Saturn Knight, another flashback universe character. This is pretty much how the character looked for uh, quite a while. And then at some point I started being uh, going crazy and then changing the look. Uh. And at some point I, I made it pretty much a, a space ghost-like uh, character. I thought with the yellow aura and the, uh, and the, the, the gear we can actually get that we produced a fairly good approximation of space ghost. And of course... Uh, the cosmic material, uh, I kind of like the, the, the look it, it, it has with uh, with that. Here is a more classic version of the red ghost, of the space ghost, without the, the cosmic material. But I was, I was really surprised and uh, I really liked how you could get really close to the actual look uh, of the space ghost. And here is a, a look that I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to basically to come up with looks using the cosmic and the void material. And as you'll notice, basically the void material is the same as the cosmic material. The main distinction is that there's there's stars in the in the cos in the cosmic material. That that's the main distinction. Here we have our friend uh, Black Manta, another character that I created uh, when we got uh, the water powers. And holy crap, does the scuba gear looks really sweet? I'm very happy to have uh, purchased it. When it, uh, I bought it, uh, I bought this at least three years ago, I think, two or three years ago. And here's our friend Spider-Man. I think I created that version of Spider-Man around the time of uh, uh, a little bit before Captain America Civil War. I thought it was appropriate at the time uh, to come up with a cool looking Spider-Man for this universe online. And of course you need a black costume version. Although um, I, need, I need either a better emblem or a, a, better, a better look. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to to gather some uh, some styles to upgrade uh, the look a bit. And here we have our friend Doctor Strange. I'm not sure when I created him, but probably a bit before the film, or maybe much before the film. And of course, with the uh, the miracle escape, holy crap, does he look awesome! And uh, ironically, also I was able to use the Daybreak emblem to recreate the Eye of Agamotto, so that was really sweet. And then, of course, using the Doctor uh, Doctor Fate chest piece that we can get from the Watchtower, and the Rachel Gul cape, uh, I can get even closer to. Uh, I was about to say a more a more modern version of the character, but not that much. This is pretty much how he was in the '80s, and that's 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 a few decades ago now. And of course, our friend Superboy. Um, somehow, Super Sun kind of worked as a name. And, uh, of course, he's one of the many characters that I had to get the Stalwart Defender chest for. I still need a handful of Stalwart Defender chests. Um, whenever, whenever I see uh, the Stalwart Defender chest for not too much money on the broker, I'll, I'll quickly uh, grab it. Uh, usually, when, when it, if, if the Stalwart Defender chest gets below 2 million, uh, the, that's usually when I, I purchase it. If it's uh, five, six millions, uh, it's too much. But I usually, as a rule of thumb, it usually goes uh, goes down at some point. Of course, our friend Supergirl. I had created a version of Supergirl uh, some time ago, but uh, then I recreated her uh, on PS4 instead. Uh, basically, I wanted to have a female character on PS4 so that I could uh, have a female character to show the female, uh, some female-looking styles. At some point. And of course our friend the multiverse. Uh, this used to be my Magneto character, but uh the the thing is there's there's way too many styles in this you know, at some point I, with my main character I had way too many too many styles. And there's way too many styles that I would never use because I was playing Magneto. So at the very least I would never use uh, any other helmet than the knight helmet because that's what Magneto uses. And uh, for even for the rest of the styles, I would always end up going for something that kind of looked like Magneto. So uh, I thought uh, 
making Magneto into something else would uh, give me freedom to create pretty much anything. And uh, I started by using uh, some of the enhanced uh, versions of the, the styles of, of uh, like the Shintar or the, uh, the Conqueror or even uh, previously the, the Quardian, although the Quardian uh, changed quite a lot. Because I figured I worked a lot to create those enhanced version of the of those styles, so I thought eh, let's uh, let's show them off a bit. So I wanted to use those uh, at least a bit. But even then, you can see I'm using the Conqueror, but I mixed and matched it with uh, with other stuff by now. So it's no longer just the Conqueror. And of course, there's our friend the Taskmaster. It's pretty freaky how close you can get to recreating uh, the Taskmaster. This is very close to, to how he looked uh, in his first appearance. And yeah, even the few variations that, that can be made uh, are still very close to the uh, the classic look. Like basically, there, there's uh, if we could mix this look and the other look into a, like a third look, that would be an accurate per, per representation of a Taskmaster. But even then, even here, it, it looks enough like the Taskmaster that it, it's a close enough fit. And again, uh, at some point in the mid 80s, uh, I think it was Todd McFarlane who, who made him, uh, got rid of a lot of the, the orange that was part of the suit and added a lot more white. And that, it kind of works. And then there's our friend Wonder Woman. And it's uh, well fairly easy if you if you can use the broker to recreate her look. Basically, if you just purchase the uh, Noble Warrior uh, chest and pants, uh, you can you can come up with a fairly good uh, version of Wonder Woman. For the the bracers, uh, I had to use the Sinestro bracers and the boots. Uh, I think it's the tall boots or the tall classic boots. Uh, I, the name escapes me right now. And of course, the shield. Uh, if you get the round shield with the emblem, uh, it's perfect. You can get you can you, you can then get your Wonder Woman emblem with that character because uh, ironically enough, there's no room for an emblem on her, on on that chest piece. Although technically, the the emblem is kind of into the suit itself. And I thought that I was trying at some point to give her the Shimtar gear. And I, I liked it and I didn't like it. Uh, I've, I've been tweaking with it. Uh, sometimes I'll add a piece, I'll remove a piece. Uh, if, if she has the whole suit, it's too much. Uh, but here, without the pants, it looks kind of weird. So I'm going to have to keep on working on it. The thing I like to do is that we, we have a few slots for our, our emblem. It's a tiny, uh, it's tiny, but it, it's still there. And I thought with this version, uh, instead of using uh, the shield with the Wonder Woman emblem, uh, I thought we could use the uh, the bombshell uh, Wonder Woman shield. It almost kind of works. I, I will have to tweak that look uh, some more. And I tried to recreate the uh, Zod uh, character. Uh, basically, this used to be my Hyperion that I tweaked uh, and turned into Zod. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Uh, I'm having a hard time coming up with some cool uh, looking, uh, cool looking style for a cool, cool looking style for a Zod character. I almost made it Superboy Prime, but I thought I'd already too many Superman-like characters, which is why I went with Zod. I figured, well, Zod is a Superman enemy, but it doesn't really look like Superman most of the time. But uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep Zod uh, for long. Uh, basically, there's the the Earth 3 uh, DLC that's coming up that will have uh, Ultraman and the Crime Syndicate in it. And um, I think I'll, I'll turn Zod into uh, an Ultraman character at some point. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So, as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.